Well, the moment has passed. Back to work! In this video, I'm going to be talking about why I think TF2 has one of the best communities within the gaming world. To start us off, Team Fortress 2 is a 9 year old game, as of this video, and is still going strong and growing. And not to forget that the community itself actually helps the developers in finding bugs. So the developers don't even have to do anything apart from patching those bugs. And this has been a reoccurring thing for many, many years and I really do hope it's for many years to come. Because this is just a strong sign that the community actually cares for this game, like I've mentioned in previous videos. Competitive lands only happen because of the community, guys. TF2 has one of the most dedicated competitive communities I have ever seen. And with it being fully driven by the community itself without any developer support for many, many years now. Teams are crowdfunded to travel the world every year. This shows how much passion this community has for its competitive side as well. And with that being said, guys, all these competitive players that play TF2, it's because they have passion for it. They know they're not going to get the biggest, you know, the biggest amount of money that they can get from prize pools because they just doesn't have developer support yet. And that just shows how much they actually care for this game, to travel the world and play this game because they love it so much. And they are also able to do so because of the community backing it. The community itself creates updates for the game because they love this game so much. Community made updates is simply amazing because, as I just said, community made. Not many video games have community made official updates for the game itself. And Valve put it in knowing this is what the community wants. Apart from an update that was that happened in the past, but we're not going to mention that. Just just take a step back and think about community made updates for a second, guys. Because seriously, it's a, it's a big part of Team Fortress 2, you know, the community. It's it's incredible because they do not know if that update that they are working on is going to develop enough to show to Valve that they uh, it's worthy enough to put into the actual game. But they still do it because they know that they have the passion for this game. They really want to try and make something of it. And this moves on to my next topic is, well, Scream Fortress, the annual event every year. So last year and this year, so two years in a row, guys, the community is going to be ranking Scream Fortress. So that just shows that that's a big part. Scream Fortress is huge for Team Fortress 2 for many years, and it will continue to be because it is an annual thing. And while Valve work on quote-unquote bigger updates for the future of TF2, so they trust the community to make a big update to match what they've made, supposedly. After this year's Scream Fortress, it'll bring it to a total of a whopping five community-made updates. Now, for my last part of the video here, I want to mention the Saxi Awards, which is another annual event in TF2 driven by the community as well as Valve. To sum it up, this puts the best SFM animators to the test of who can make the best SFM short and the winner will get a free trip to Valve Headquarters. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to make a video talking about why I think this community is simply one of the best gaming communities ever and I am proud to be a part of it. So comment down below your thoughts of the video and if I missed anything that you think should have been in this video, please comment it down like I said because I'll be sure to read it and reply to your comments. And one more thing, with all this being said, <laughs> there is also some bad to the community as well that I do not agree with at all, but I'll be sure to make a video on that too, depending on the results of this video. Hope to see you on the next one. Alright, you're gonna do two things right now. You're gonna go down there, you're gonna hit the like button. And after you're done with the like button, you're gonna slap that subscribe button. Go ahead! When you're done with that, just, I don't know, do whatever. Get out of here. You're done.